It's Tuesday, April 10, 2023, one month after UBS's emergency takeover of Credit Suisse Group AG. Today, shareholders are gathering for Credit Suisse's annual general meeting, their first chance to demand answers and accountability over the controversial takeover. At the venue, a police presence was established early in the morning as shareholders began to arrive. UBS and Credit Suisse shareholders were not allowed input during the purchase process, and the lack of input has sparked widespread anger. Swiss authorities intervened in late March, when Credit Suisse's deposits and share price plummeted and a global banking crisis seemed imminent. They brokered an agreement with UBS to take over the ailing bank, but with no vote from Credit Suisse shareholders or bondholders. The Swiss federal prosecutor is now investigating potential breaches of Swiss federal law by government officials, regulators, and executives from both banks. Outside the meeting Vincent Kaufman, CEO of the Ethos Foundation, which represents pension funds holding 3-5% to of Credit Suisse shares, told CNBC that shareholders had lost a lot of money and needed to know what management was doing. He also called for potential action in retrieving some of the money paid to former management, who may have failed in their duties to protect shareholders. Meanwhile, holders of Credit Suisse's AT1 bond instruments, which were subject to a $17 billion wipeout during the UBS takeover, have instructed a global law firm to pursue any possible litigation with Swiss authorities. Thomas Worland, managing partner of Quinn Emanuel Urquhart and Sullivan, said a constructive engagement with stakeholders could help prevent years of litigation. UBS meanwhile announced the return of former CEO Sergio Ermity to head the new Unified Bank. UBS's own AGM will be held the next day, so more details will be revealed about the future of the integrated lender. The Swiss regulator Finma will also hold a press conference the same day. Reports have already surfaced that there will be a 20-30% to reduction in the combined global workforce of the two banks. Shareholders are expecting to hear more information on this and other key details at the meeting today. The Credit Suisse takeover has stirred up a great deal of emotion, anger, frustration, and most importantly, uncertainty. Investors, shareholders, and bondholders will be hoping the meeting provides the answers they need, and the transparency they deserve.